Shall we all rise up, please? I want you to just bow your head in prayer and close your eyes as I pray. With God, all things are possible. The impossibilities are with men. But God has no difficulty. Whatever your problem may be tonight, God is here tonight. And if you'll just depend upon him, nothing shall be impossible. So, as we'll be hearing the word of God, just pay attention and just be looking up to God. And as I give you this simple message that God has given me to give you tonight, I believe the Lord is going to touch you. Amen. Father, in the name of Jesus, I bless you. I bring all these multitudes of people before you, those inside and those outside. And I'm asking that whatever their needs may be, the miracle power of God will begin to work in their lives from this very moment in Jesus' name. Amen. Touch everyone. Amen. Send blessings from above. Amen. And let your miraculous power begin to overflow in this place right now in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you for the answer. In Jesus' name we pray. In the Bible, we have many stories that are told about the power of God. And as I read many accounts in the Bible, I begin to see something that comes out very, very clearly. And that is what I'm talking about tonight. It's the bridge of faith. In natural life, the bridge is very, very important and very, very necessary. There are some limited number of places you can go without bridges. But then there are some important places, towns and cities, or even some important parts of this city here in Lagos that you will not be able to reach without the use of a bridge. And I'm talking to you tonight on faith as a bridge. And I call it the bridge of faith. Now I want you to pay attention because you may discover tonight that the solution to your problem is nearer than you thought. And if you think the solution is far away, it is your attitude, your doubt, your unbelief that makes it to be far away from you. I just told you now about the bridge. That there are places you can reach without bridges. Now you are here for example. To get to the street nearby here, you may not need a bridge. But to go home, some of you will have to go over a bridge before you get home. And if suddenly the bridge is blown up or destroyed, you might have much difficulty tonight being able to get home. Now, I'm saying that the bridge of faith is very important. And there are some little, little things you may get in life without the bridge of faith. But there are some great, mighty things that you, whoever you are, a Christian, a sinner, somebody coming to church regularly, somebody who has never come to church, there are many things that are great and mighty you will never be able to get without the bridge of faith. Think about it this way. Between you and the impossibility of your life, there is an impassable river. And it is only as the bridge of faith comes over the impassable river, you'll be able to walk over that bridge and be able to get at the impossibility. Here you are, you may be sick. Your health is far away. And there is a river between you and your health, between you and your healing. It's only as you pass over the bridge of faith that will pass from sickness unto your health or your healing. Here you are, you may be poor. 
and you have nothing at all in your hand like the testimony of this woman that has just come now to testify no work no accommodation no money in your pocket and there is no food at home and here you are dying with hunger and yet it is possible for God to provide for you and to meet your need but then there is an impassable river between you and the provision of God it is as you come on the bridge of faith that you will be able to get at what you want you know in your life you may have the oppression of the devil he presses you down he oppresses you you're always easily discouraged life for you is not uh, enjoyable and yet there is happiness there is joy there is peace in the presence of god but between you and the happiness the joy the peace there is an impassable river and it appears things are so difficult but when a bridge of faith comes between you and the happiness you get on that bridge and happiness will be very near your marital problems all your relatives have tried to settle the problem it's impossible they can't settle it your husband is saying there is no way that i can be reunited again with that woman your children are pleaded you have pleaded you have done everything possible legal illegal family personal everything possible but your husband says there is an impassable river an unsurmountable difficulty that there is nothing that can unite both of you and here you are always weeping tears in your eyes you can't sleep at night you are you are not at rest because of the difficulty before you there is only way i recommend only one <coughs> one thing i recommend for you the bridge of faith when that bridge of faith is made you cross over it and what you are looking for of course you will get it. now let me give you some illustrations using this bridge i've told you now that there are limited places you can reach you can get to without using any bridge and there are some little little things you can get in life very little little things you can get in life if you are satisfied to be a mediocre if you are satisfied to have only the little things in life you may not need the bridge of faith but then there are some great mighty blessings from heaven that you will miss for life except there is a bridge of faith if you don't have the bridge of faith you will miss some mighty great blessings do you know something you are not wealthy enough you are not great enough you are not knowledgeable enough to build a bridge of your own you may have a car you may have all you need to keep you on the go to make you move but if there is a river between you and that other place you are not wealthy enough knowledgeable enough to be able on your own as an individual to be able to bridge the gap between you and your success i'm telling you something that in your life you cannot stand alone you cannot stay alone because you don't have the know-how the how to do it you don't have anything to be able to build the bridge on your own because you know if you don't secure the hell of the building company to build the bridge you will remain on this other side of the river poor sick powerless sorrowful suffering in your life because you cannot there is no individual as an individual alone no matter who you are that can say okay i need a bridge i will build a bridge you can't do it god has established here 
a bridge of faith. Every Thursday, that's what, that's what we do. And we're carrying people over. We're showing them the bridge. The bridge of faith. Christ has built it. The pillars are settled. And they are based on the two testaments. The pillars of truth. And that bridge is already there. You know, you cannot build it yourself. But you know, it's already built. If you don't use it, you lose. Listen to me. We tell a company to build a bridge. After the, after the bridge is built, everybody begins to use the bridge. Christians, Muslims, pagans. I'm telling you something. There is a bridge of faith. You pass over it, you are healed. You are secured. You, you pass over it, your problems are solved. But listen to me. The, build, uh, the bridge is built, but... No matter your religious affiliation. You don't think about your religious background. You don't think about, well, I am not a um, deep alive. Forget about that. All we are saying is that every Thursday, there is a bridge of faith here. And this bridge of faith will bring you from poverty to prosperity. You may not be deep alive. Who cares about that? You may not be coming to Bagada regularly. Is that my business? My business is to tell you that somebody has built a bridge of faith and it's available for everybody to use. Don't remain in your poverty. Don't remain in your sickness. Don't remain under the oppression of the devil. Whether you are deep alive or you are not deep alive, come on, get on the bridge and pass on from your poverty to your prosperity. And pass on from sickness unto health. And don't be grudging, you know, uh, the deeper life people saying, well, I'm not part of them. Don't worry about that. The, build, the bridge is there. Get on the bridge and get over on the other side. And get your problem solved. You know, some people come and they say, well, I, I am not a Christian. <laughs> is that the important thing? I'm telling you that, you know, you need a bridge and the bridge is available and you are hearing testimonies of what God is doing. Healing people, delivering people, and uh, removing poisons from their lives. And then you say, well, I don't want to go there. I don't want to go there. You want to die in your problem? You want to remain with the impossibilities of your life? You want to remain sick and poor. You want to remain under the power of the devil, under the power of witches and wizards. Now, forget about all these things, all the excuses you are making. And just remember, one company builds a bridge and many people use it. And God had established the bridge here, the bridge of faith. You know, the sick getting healed, the oppressed getting delivered. And you have the blind receiving their sight, the lame walking, those who are deaf and dumb. We are praying for them and they are getting healed. Forget about your religious background and come and use the bridge of faith. Now listen to me. There are many kinds of bridges. You know, I'm old enough to have used many types of bridges. Wooden bridges. That only people can walk but they cannot take vehicles over. Those bridges are weak. The supports are weak. But I've also seen iron bridges. You are walking over it or you are, you are going over it and it's making noise all the time. I've seen concrete bridges. And I've seen suspension bridges. Many types of bridges. And you know, the greater the load, the stronger the bridge must be. I'm sure you understand that this is not the only place where people pray. There are many places in town where people pray. But the point is this. There are different kinds of bridges. Some of those bridges over there that you see, they're very small, they're very weak, and they're wooden. With a small problem, little headache, you take it over there, it's all right. With a little problem of, you know, I don't sleep at night uh, every day, you can take it over there and it's all right. But when it comes to the heavy load the great problem when it comes to barrenness that has been there for 10 years you need a strong bridge of faith 
And when you have a great problem, I mean really great problem, the devil is chasing after you and in the dream you're never able to sleep and you're never able to rest and people are terrified, you, telling you that they're going to ruin you and wreck you and destroy you. You need a strong bridge. And if you have been listening to the testimonies here, they're on cassettes. You will understand. The bridge here is heavy, secured, sound. And it's ensured on the merit of the blood of Jesus Christ. No matter the load of the problem. No matter the load of the problem. A trailer of problems can get over the sound, solid bridge that you have here. And you know, you will just be able to pass over. Because all the problems will come to an end. Think about it. Any type of problem. Any type of problem coming from the devil. Whatever the devil might have been trying to do in your life, there is a strong, great breed solid in this place. And you'll be able to pass over. I hope that, you know, you just don't stay with the weak, wooden bridges that you have in other places. That's why you have uh, so many people here as they are coming. And this is only the first session they're coming because they realize, oh, of course, everybody knows there are other places where people pray. This is not the only place. You know, all the people that are coming here, they're not coming here because they feel there is no other place. There are other bridges in other places. But the people who are coming, when they need a strong bridge, a solid bridge, a bridge that even the war, warfare of the devil cannot blow it up. You remember during the civil war in Nigeria, we were hearing information that, you know, uh, the uh, bridge between um, Asaba and uh, Onicha, that, uh, you know, it's, it was blown up, out of it. But, you know, I'm telling you there is a type of bridge that the bomb from the devil has not been made that can, that can rule it up. And that bridge is in this place. The moment the devil sees the bridge of faith that is in this place, he just shakes his head and he says, well, there is nothing I can do. Of course, he can go to the little wooden bridges or in other places, blow it up, burn it up, but not in this place. Can I have a greater amen? amen. That is why we are calling you, saying, come and use this bridge of faith. And it's built here at no cost. You know, as we are here tonight, if we get one, one, one naira from everybody, I'll become rich overnight. And I'll, I'll be able to use two, three cars. But you know, this is not a bridge you pay for. There is no toll gate at the bridge of faith. You don't have to pay anything. It's just a matter of coming with your problem and understanding that whatever the problem may be, you are getting delivered tonight in the name of Jesus. <laughs> Listen to me. Now, some bridges may be very strong and very safe. But if you have rumors that uh, the bridge is not good, the bridge may be very good, very sound, very perfect. But if there are rumors all around saying that that bridge is not good, that bridge is not good, if you believe that rumor, you will never use that bridge. And you know sometimes, many people who have never been here before, and they say, well, uh, that bridge uh, of faith in that place, maybe it is magic. There's no magic here, but there are miracles here. Amen. Sometimes they look alike, but they're very different. Moses went to Pharaoh, and the Pharaoh said, Well, what sign of you that you have come from Jehovah God, saying, Let my people go, that they may serve me. And Moses threw down his rod, and it became a serpent. That's a miracle. He called the magicians and they threw down their rods. And the rods of the magicians also became serpents. That one is magic. They look alike, but they are different. How do we know they are different? The rod of Moses swallowed up the rods of the magicians. That's the difference. <laughs> 
Now you go and ask other people Prophets in other places They are praying for the witches they are to, Not to bother you They are praying that you will be healed They are praying you will be delivered But you go and ask them Those prophets themselves They are having a battle with the witches and wizards But here when did you come here on Thursday and then they said that, well, uh, Brakumoyi could not come because the witches are having a battle with him. They didn't allow him to sleep at night. Impossible. I said it's impossible. <laughs> you know, somebody came from Joss. She said she was, uh, you know, a, a terrible person, a terrible woman. And uh, she came from Joss came to Lagos, wanted to do me harm. He doesn't know the type of person I am. When the Bible is in your heart, it's in your head, it's in your mouth, it's in your hand, it's in your ears, it's in your body. There's nothing the devil can do. So she came from jail, wanting to try her power. And then she said, you know, she said she came to Lagos and she saw me. And I wasn't even praying. I was just sitting down, relaxing. Amazing grace. So, but you know what she discovered? She discovered there was fire, heavenly fire all around me. And uh, she ran back to Jaws. And when she ran back to Jaws, uh, she went to deeper life in Jaws. And she saw the same fire on the leader over there. And she surrendered and gave her life to Jesus Christ. I'm telling you something. The, the bridge of faith here is sound and solid. Because it is built in the blood of Jesus Christ. And there is no witch or wizard that can tamper with that bridge. You know, every Thursday you are coming, the bridge is there. Every Thursday you are coming, the Lord is walking in a mighty way. Now I'm telling you that there are some bridges that don't have any foundations outside. Those bridges, you know, they are right on the surface. And, uh, but you step on them, you just sink. Don't enjoy your life. Don't get involved with unscriptural, occultic practices in praying because it can destroy you. You know something I've noticed in my life? As I have looked at uh, bridges that are built, you know, I see houses when houses are painted. And I see that sometimes you have some colorful uh, paintings in the houses. You know, you can paint a house with three different colors. Uh, you can paint a particular building with, um, you know, different types of colors and uh, it's dazzling and very colorful. You know what I realize about bridges? They don't paint bridges with different kinds of colors to make it colorful. Because, you know, for a bridge, it is not the color that is important. For a bridge, it is not, you know, how you paint it that is important. It is how solid the bridge is. You know here, we don't have the colorful emotions that people work up in other places. We don't have, you know, drums here that people beat to make the bridge of faith colorful. It doesn't have to be colorful. What we know is, it is sound enough to take care of your problem. And you know, if you're looking for something colorful, if you're looking for, you know, drumming, tambourine, and many of these things and emotional jerking and shaking and jumping and this type of colorful things that people want you're looking for holy water candle incense white garment to make the bridge colorful bridges are not painted to be colorful what's important is how solid they are and so i'm, I'm asking you what are you depending upon the bridge of faith is said and it will transfer you from the position of sickness to health. It will transfer you from the position of poverty to prosperity. It will transfer you from the position of weakness to strength. In Mark chapter 2. Mark chapter 2. I'm reading from verse 1. And again he entered into Capernaum. After some days... 
and it was noised that he was in the house. And straightway many were gathered together, in so much that there was no room to receive them, no, not so much as about the door. And he preached the word unto them, and they come unto him, bringing one sick of the palsy, which was born of four. And when they could not come nigh unto him for the press, they uncovered the roof where he was. And when they had broken it up, they let it down. They let down the bed, when in the sick of the palsy lay. And when Jesus saw their faith, that's the bridge. That's the bridge. Now, let me explain all that I've been telling you of this passage. The man that was sick couldn't come on his own. But you know, four men brought him. That's what I said. The bridge may not belong to you. Other people may construct the bridge, but you use that bridge. These four men had faith, solid faith, in, the, in a solid object in Jesus Christ. And when Jesus saw their faith, he saw their faith. And they were going to pass from impossibility to possibility. He said unto the sick of the palsy, Son, thy sins be forgiven thee. Look at verse 11. I say unto thee, Arise, take up thy bed, and go thy way into thine house. And immediately he arose, took up his bed, went forth before them all in so much that they were all amazed and glorified God saying we never saw it on this fashion you're going to see some things in your life tonight you've never seen before because the power of God is going to move into your life the spirit of the living God is going to pack up all the load of the devil from your life in the name of Jesus we say that which we know and what we are convinced of. This is not an ideal story. You'll feel it in your body. You'll sense it in your brain. You'll know it in your body tonight. Because the power of the almighty God who has built the bridge of faith and it is available here for you to use is going to move on into your life tonight and the impossibility of your life will become possible tonight. Sicknesses are going away right now. Many difficulties are going to go away from your life. Why not just rise up and let me pray for you before you go. Just rise up. While you are standing, let me tell you something. You know, it doesn't really matter how young you are, how old you are. If the, build, if the bridge is already built, you can pass over it. God doesn't uh, want you. He's not calling you to come and build the bridge yourself. It's already there. The bridge of faith. And we ministers of God are here to pray for you. He's not asking you to come and pay money before you come on the bridge of faith. He's not asking you to do anything whatever. He's just asking you to step on the bridge of faith. And immediately you know that you are passing from this side. You are passing to the other side. Before I pray for you, look at your life. Look at it. Look at it. Look at your past. Any sickness there? Check it up. Because you are not going to see it after my prayer. Check it up. Poverty there. Impossibility in your life. Check it up. Because after this bridge of faith, after I offer the prayer, the powerful prayer of the Holy Ghost right now, those problems, you are not going to find them anymore in Jesus' name. Any weakness in your life, check it up. Check it up. It's going. The witches and the wizards, they have troubled you until this time. Check it up. They are not going to be able to do it anymore. You have difficulty in your family. No child, check it up. Tonight is a great night for you. The Lord is delivering you tonight. The power of God is moving mightily here tonight. And the Lord, the Lord himself is going to deliver you tonight in a mighty way. The bridge of faith. The bridge of faith. The bridge of faith. Come on it, come on it, come on it. 
forget that you are Muslim, you are, you are church goer, you are whatever you are, whatever your religious background, come on the bridge of faith. Amen. Now very, very quickly, when I call your problem, you just raise up your hand very quickly because the time is gone. That lady that is between uh, 23 and 25 and you are still urinating on the bed at night, if you just raise up your hand now, that's the end of the problem. You are a lady between 23 and 25, where are you? Just raise up your hand, I'll be praying for you right now and the problem is going. Other people who are still urinating on the bed at night and you are an adult, I'm praying for you and the sin is going. It is going. I said it is going. So raise up your hand if you are there. I want all people to close their eyes. But the people have called out now, just raise up your hand. If you are that age, I spoke of now between 23 and 25, and you are a lady still with that problem. Can you wave the hand at me? Okay, God bless you. Father, in the name of Jesus. I command that all these who are raising up their hands, who have had problems with the urinary system, that it will stop right now in Jesus' name. Amen. Deliver them right now. Thank you because I know you have done it. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Amen. The person that has been having the problem in the head for a very long time, for more than one year, and it appears you are running mad, and, and uh, the problem has been there, you've been carried to a particular village, and, uh, but the problem has not been solved. If you raise up your hand right now, the problem is going to fly out of your head. Raise up the hand very well, you have a problem in the head, and you've been carried to a particular village. The person in particular has been carried to that uh, particular village. Uh, can you just uh, wave the hand at me? Okay, God bless you. Amen. Father, in the name of Jesus, Amen. I stand there by the authority of the Lord Jesus Christ and under the mark of the blood of Jesus Christ. And I speak directly to those problems. Now, you devil, pack your load and go in Jesus' name. Amen. Father, right now, I command that these people having the problems in their head and with their mind, that the problems will move away from them in Jesus' name. Amen. Set them totally free. Amen. Thank you because I know you have answered. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. 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 Now there's a woman there you've not been able to get pregnant for the past five years and uh, you realize you fought with somebody at that time and you had a dream and then the person terrified you in the dream and since that time you've had the problem of fear, you have, you've had the problem of barrenness as well and you've been running elter skelter and you are here tonight and somebody by, you know, just invited you and you just came that so so just to come, you are just here at the right time. If that is you, where are you? Amen. Amen. Let me see your hand up. Understand there is a bridge of... I see the hand. I see the hand. God bless you. There is a bridge of faith here. And you are getting delivered tonight in Jesus' name. Amen. Woman, take my word. After this time, you go back. You go back home and you begin to buy materials you are going to use for the children. Father, in the name of Jesus, I call upon you right now on behalf of that woman. All the powers of the enemy, I destroy, I break totally, and I put under my feet in Jesus' name. Woman, all the poison that is put within you, everything is removed by the blood of Jesus Christ. Every plan of the devil is totally destroyed now in Jesus' name. You are delivered. And the Lord has blessed you. And the Lord has answered your prayer. And the Lord has given you the desire of your heart. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. I saw somebody that went for interview just this morning. And uh, you are afraid whether you will be taken or not. You went for interview just this morning. Where are you? Can you put up your hand? Let me pray for you. <laughs> Can you get up the hand? Amen. Amen. Heavenly Father, look at that hand up. 
went for the interview today. Give him what he wants. Thank you because I know you've answered. In Jesus' name I pray. Can I hear an amen? Now you know our time is gone. Whatever your problem may be, just raise up your hand. I'm getting you over the bridge of faith. And you are getting the answer. Go and mark the date of this day down. The devil cannot go against this thing we are praying for. The Lord is answering your prayer. And the Lord is giving you the request of your heart. Just keep your hand up. If you have a child that is having a problem, sick and impotent, lay your hand on that child. If you are sick yourself and you have been having a terrible time, a terrible difficult time, lay the other hand on yourself. And the Lord is answering. If it's a problem with uh, your stomach, you lay it on your stomach. With your bones, you lay it on your bone. With your nose, you put it in the nose. With your eyes, you put, it, you put your hands in the, in the eyes. And you raise one hand up. And the Lord is answering our prayer. You are getting over the bridge of faith. Impossibilities are becoming possible. Father, in the name of Jesus, I worship you and I adore you. With you, all things are possible. All things for all people at all times are possible. And therefore, right now, I'm asking for all these people, all these things they're asking you in their family lives, in their personal lives, in their business lives, in their bodies, for the provision they need. Oh Lord, I'm asking this day, as they come on the bridge of faith, that you are built with the blood of Jesus Christ. I'm asking you answer their prayers in Jesus' name. Amen. All the sufferings that the devils have brought, that evil spirits have brought, that witches and wizards have brought, it is this very moment, after seven o'clock this night, I'm canceling it. And I destroy it. And I command that the devil will not be able to continue in the havoc he has been doing anymore in Jesus' name. All you who are raising up your hands, whatever it is you want, whatever it is promised in the word of God, healing for your body, deliverance in your home, healing for your children, a concern upon your heart, whatever it is or work you want to do, or whatever it is you need, I'm asking the Lord, he does it tonight for every one of you in Jesus' name. <laughs> oh Lord, roll bad luck away. That person that is there wanting to commit suicide because you think life is, ask, is having nothing for you, I beat up and I cast away the spirit of death in Jesus' name. Amen. And I pray that the joy of the Lord will spring up within you right now in Jesus' name. Amen. Father, I thank you because all these people, you have answered their prayers. You have done it. And I pray that the blessings will remain upon them in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you for what you have done. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. 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 Stay where you have not finished. Now, just stay where you are. Check up for the sickness that I, that I prayed for. Check up. There's somebody who has been healed in the head. Check it up. You'll find it so. Somebody, you came in having a fever now, the Lord has removed it. Somebody run, something running about in your body before, but now when I was praying, that thing vanished away. Check it up, you'll find it so. I see a woman that had a problem in um, one of the breasts uh, before, but now the problem is taken care of by the Lord. Check up. Now, as you check up, if the problem is gone, really check up if it's gone. Can I see your hand up? God is wonderful. See those signs. Wonderful God. Now, next Thursday, I'm encouraging you to come very quickly to come and give testimonies of the wonderful, great things the Lord has done. Because many of you, even though you are not raising up your hands now, you will find out that by next Thursday, you'll find miracles have actually taken place in your life. Close your eyes and let me pray before you go. Father, in the name of Jesus, I'm asking that the blessings you have given to all these people will abide and remain with them in Jesus' name. Amen. And the devil will not be able to touch them anymore. Witches and wizards will not be able to touch them anymore. 
what you have done will remain and be permanent in Jesus' name. Protect everyone as we go back. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen.